I want to share with you today a important thought that God gave me the, the other day. And the thought is about being led by the Spirit of God versus being led by the flesh. We find a very, very good example of this in the book of Jude. Jude is one of the smallest books of the Bible, only has 25 verses in there. But there's a very, very important lesson we can learn. Oh, there's a lot of good verses in it. But actually, one of the best lessons we can learn is found in verse number three. First, I want to ask you, have you ever had one of those moments where you have one of those, I call them the all oh, man moments. You know, if you're fishing, you like to fish, and you get that big fish toward the bank, and you've almost got it in, and it gets off the line, and you say, oh, man. Or maybe you're going to a sale at a store, and, and you there's so many of this one item that you want, but they say it's first come, first serve. And when you get there, the person in front of you gets the last one, and it's, oh, man. I believe Jude had one of those all man moments. I'll tell you why. I believe this will really help you if you if you really pay attention to what we're saying. Jude tells us in verse number three that when he wrote the book of Jude, he wanted to write about something else. His flesh wanted to write about something else. He tells us he wanted to write about a common salvation. What did he want to say? I don't know. But no doubt he was so excited. No doubt he got everything in his mind thinking, hey, I want to write this. I want to tell about my experience like Saul did. I want to tell about my experiences like Peter did. I want to tell these things. No doubt he was excited. He might have ran in and put his little paper down on the, on the little table where he sat, no doubt. And maybe he picked up that little pen and he started to write. And God said, stop. Jude that's not what I want you to write. Jude might have thought, I don't know that he did, but he might have thought, oh man, but I want to write about a common salvation. He tells us that. But he didn't. What did he do? He went with what God wanted him to do. Jude said in verse number three, he said, it was his willingness, it was his wanting, it was his longing to write to me and you about a common salvation. But he said it was more needful. God said, no, it's more needful, Jude, for you to write about earnestly contending for the faith that was once delivered to the saints. So Jude, Jude no doubt had all of this thing in his mind. And then it was like, oh man, don't I get to write that? God said, no, Jude, I know you want to write about a common salvation. But I've had these other men write about their experiences. I've had them write about salvation. I want you to write encouragement. I want you to write contending to the faith. I want you to write about people hanging on when they feel like giving up. I want you to write about letting them know to hang on to what they was once taught. And that's what Jude did. Jude was led by the Spirit of God. Sometimes we in our life, it's easy to sort of think, oh man, I want to do it this way. But then it's like, oh man, God wants us to do it that way. You know why? God knows exactly what we need, and God knows exactly what you need. And that's what all boils down to being led by the Spirit. See, a lot of times the flesh will say one thing, but the Spirit of God is what we need to listen to. And you know what Jude did? Jude wrote a lot of mighty good words in there. And, and we can quote some of the verses that Jude had. And, and even in the verse, in verse number three, where he said, earnestly contend for the faith, which was once delivered to the saints. Do you realize if you've heard that verse read and preached many times down throughout the years, if Jude had got to write what he wanted to write, we might not have ever had that. But see, God knew what we needed. God knew what you need right now. So that should be encouraging to you. Just let, just to let you know to do things, do what God is leading you to do. Do you take the direction God is telling you to take? No matter what it is in life, it might be about a job, it might be about uh, a home and moving, it might be 
there's no telling what, you know, uh, maybe, it, maybe it's got to do with your, you know, your finances. Maybe it's got to do with your relationship. God can lead you in any direction, but he knows what direction it is. And he, he will lead you and he will guide you. The important thing is we need to follow God and make sure you're being led by God. Even though sometimes the flesh might want to tell you, let's do it this way. Let's just do it the way God wants us to do. And you know what's going to happen? It'll all work out a whole lot better. Please like and subscribe to this channel. I hope you're enjoying this channel. I hope you're enjoying the encouragement, the little teachings we're trying to give you. Remember, we are here to encourage you, to let you know that you can make it, and to point you to Christ. Please go back and watch our last video if you haven't. It's a video of my daughter and myself doing an old song sitting around our home piano. And it's uh, just a little something that we hope blesses you each and every week. Please like and subscribe. Share this with your friends. Let everybody know that we're doing these little videos. Help this little page or this little channel to grow. Like, subscribe. Hit that little bell for notifications. Remember, God loves you. God bless you. And we're going to catch you on the next video.